Good morning children. Hope you have watched our previous videos and have started studying. Children, do you remember the last time we went for an outing? Yes, it was at the marine aquarium and we had seen different types of fish and enjoyed a lot. We will surely make it once again when you come back to school. Now children, we, I have with me some pictures of my last outing few years back. You will be able to see your friends in these pictures. Can you guess the place? Yes, it was at the beach. Now children, what do we find on the beach? When we go, we enjoy going to the beach. What do we find on the beach? Yes, we find, we get shells, boats, we see crabs, starfish, sand and sea. And what do we do in the sand? Yeah, we build sand castles. We play in the sand with our ball and frisbee. And what do we notice about the sea? Now listen to the sound of and guess what sound it is. Yes children, it is the waves. Now, do you all know the movement of the waves? Yes, the movement of the waves is up, down, up, down, up, down. They go up, they go down, they go up, they go down. So here I have with you teacher Swizzle and teacher Tanisha who are going to create a wave. Okay children, you can try it out too. Okay, so let's begin with the poem on page number 19. There are big waves. So open your reader books to page number 19. There are big waves. Let's read by La Elena Farjohn. This poem is written by Elena Farjohn. There are big waves and little waves, green waves and blue. Waves you can jump over, waves you can dive through. Waves that rise up like a great water wall. Waves that swell softly and don't break at all. Waves that can whisper, waves that can roar. And tiny waves that run at you, running on the show. So again I'll say this poem. There are big waves and little waves, green waves and blue. So there are big waves and small waves. We have seen the big waves which, which come with speed and small waves. Green waves and blue. So children, why they have called it green waves? Because the reflection of the light makes the waves look green. Green waves and blue. And what does the, uh, what does uh, blue color, why is it blue color? Because the reflection of the sky makes it look blue. The waves look blue. So there are big waves and little waves, green waves and blue. Waves you can jump over, waves you can dive through. So you, when there are short waves, you can easily jump over the waves. Waves you can dive through. So what is diving? Have you all been to the swimming pool? Yes, you can see 
people going high and jumping with their arms straight and head towards the water. So they jump, that is called as diving. So on the tall waves, you can easily dive on the tall waves. So they have said there are big waves and little waves, green waves and blue. Waves you can jump over, waves you can dive through. Waves that rise up like a great water wall. When the waves, they rise high, they look like a water wall wide. So waves that swell softly and don't break at all. So when the small waves come, they come so softly that they don't break. Waves that can whisper. What is whispering? Sing softly. So when they come, they come very softly, small waves. So they are, so waves that whisper. Waves that can roar. Who roars? Yes, which animal? The lion roars. So when the big waves come with speed, they roar. It looks like the waves are roaring. And tiny waves that run at you, running on the show. So when some waves, they seem to chase you when you run along the show. So These tiny waves, they come after you. So they, are, so they are the tiny waves that run at you, running on the show. Okay, I read it again. There are big waves and little waves, green waves and blue. Waves you can jump over, waves you can dive through. Waves that rise up like a great water wall. Waves that swell softly and don't break at all. Waves that can whisper, waves that can roar. And tiny waves that run at you, running on the show. So children, memorize this poem every day. You start with the first four lines, then go to the next four lines and then the last four lines and you'll know the poem. Now children, do you remember the rhyming words? Yes, we have already learned the rhyming words. What are rhyming words? Rhyming words are the words that have the same ending sound the similar ending sound and you find rhyming words mostly in the poetry so let's find out the rhyming words so there are big waves i'll read the first four lines we'll find out the rhyming words from the first four, first stanza there are big waves and little waves green waves and blue Waves you can jump over, waves you can dive through. So which two words have the same uh, uh, ending sound? Yes, blue and through. Rhyming words. First one, blue, through. Now let's go to the next four lines. Waves that rise up like a great water wall. Waves that swell softly and don't break at all. Yes, what is the rhyming word for wall? We have wall. Yes, it's all. Wall and all. So let's go back to the last four lines of the poem. Waves that can whisper, waves that can roar, and tiny waves that run at you, running on the shore. So where, which are the rhyming words here? Yes, roar 
and sure. So that's the end of the poem. Now, children, I have a small video. Enjoy the video and memorize the poem. Thank you. There are big waves and little waves, green waves and blue. Waves you can jump over, waves you got to. Waves that rise up like a great water wall. Waves that swell softly and don't break at all.